If you're still using Photoshop or Canva to make your YouTube thumbnails, you're wasting your time. And the only thing worse than that is if you're paying somebody in order to actually make your thumbnails for you because there's a brand new AI tool that just came out that makes professional AI generated thumbnails for you in minutes. And this tool is not only going to save you time, it's also going to save you money. And if you're really smart, it can help you make money with AI. By the end of this video, you know exactly what it is and three different ways that you get to use it. Now that brand new AI tool that I'm talking about is called thumbmagic.co because this allows you to create viral thumbnails in seconds with AI. And as you can see, these can help boost not only your YouTube growth, but also your Instagram growth because it's going to increase your click-through rate. It's going to allow you to get more views. It's going to save you hours of work if you're currently using something like Photoshop or Canva. And it's going to save you money and time if you have somebody else creating your thumbnails for you because it's incredibly easy for you to actually do this. The first way that you can use this tool is you could come over here and just give it the link to one of your YouTube videos. For example, I'm going to give it the link to this video right here. We're going to have it process the video and then what this is going to do is actually generate a thumbnail with AI that's going to be better than the one that's currently on it or if there is no thumbnail on it, it will look at the transcript and then actually do it for you. So there are several different things that I want to show you here. First and foremost, you could choose between different types of templates. For example, they have text behind image, they have before and after, they have educational, they have podcasts, they have explainers, or you could replicate a template if you wanted to. In addition to that, you can actually go through and create an avatar. So you can create your own avatar right here, or you could use a default avatar if you don't actually have time to go through and make your own. But if you click on create avatar right here, this walks you through exactly how to do this. And you could do this with yourself. You could do it with different people. doesn't matter. Basically just come through, you name it, you drop in a bunch of different photos of the face. And you could see right here that it needs to be a frontal face, needs to have good lighting, the face needs to be visible, and you don't want to use celebrities or public figures because it won't actually allow you to do that because of the underlying model here. But essentially, you go through and you choose this. So I'm going to click on educational right here. We're going to go with John Doe. We gave it the thumbnail and then we gave it the link to the video here. And then we're just going to click on generate thumbnail right here. And this is going to go through and this is going to analyze the video content. And then this is going to create us three different thumbnail variations. So we could choose the one that we like the most. Okay. So now that this is done, we could see that this has generated three different thumbnails right here. And by the way, I did change the template that I was using to this before and after because I actually thought that it would fit better given that this is a video about how to get a thousand subscribers fast. We'd want to do before where it's like zero and then after when somebody's really excited because they actually got the growth that they want. We could see that I think all three of these are awesome, but I like the first one or this one the best. Now, if we wanted to just go with one of these, we could just click on download right here and we would be ready to go. Otherwise, we could click on something like add title right here and this will actually allow us to see what the title is going to look like. We could click on add title and then this actually goes through and this regenerates the thumbnail. Or if we wanted to edit this, we could click on edit with AI and then we could point to what we actually want to change. For example, let's say that we want to change the color of his shirt right here to yellow. We could say something like change the color of this shirt to yellow. And just like that, this went through and this changed the shirt color to yellow right here. And you can have this change anything that you want. Just make sure you're super specific when you click on edit with AI and just tell it what you want to change and it goes off and actually does it. Now, if you wanted to generate this with a new template, you would just come over here and choose a new template or again, you could replicate a template. And if we come down here, we could see that there are also templates for this nine by 16, which is going to be for short form content. Now let's say that you do actually want to show up in the thumbnail that you're going to be generating. Here's what you want to do next. You're going to come over here. You're going to click on create thumbnail. And again, we're going to go through the same process. So let's say that I have this video right here about Google's Notebook OM just got a massive upgrade. I'm going to grab the link right here. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to process this video. And then what this is going to allow me to do is create a thumbnail for this. So the style that I want to go for for this is I want to do something like this and I'm going to click on this right here and then we're going to use my avatar. I already went through and actually created my avatar. Literally all that you do is just click on create avatar, you name it and then upload a photo and it will actually generate the avatar for you. Literally all that I did was I took this headshot image right here and I uploaded this and now this is what my avatar is going to be based off of right here. So we have this avatar right here. We come over here, we click on generate thumbnail. And just like that, this is going to go through. This is going to analyze the 
content and then this is going to create multiple thumbnail variants and then us actually editing those thumbnails is going to be the same as any other time we've done that. Okay, so here's what these thumbnails actually look like. We could see that this looks just like me. It's perfect. I like this middle one the best because I'm showing the biggest right here. It says Google's biggest upgrade revealed. Now, one thing I might wanna change is I might wanna just come in here with AI. First, we could click on what we want to change and we're gonna change revealed. I'm gonna say make revealed bright yellow like biggest and then what this is going to do is this should generate a new thumbnail for us with everything else the same except just that one change made and again this makes it incredibly easy to make these thumbnails whether you're uploading faceless content or if you're uploading content that you actually want to show up in and just like that this went through generated a new thumbnail here made revealed in bright yellow same thing as biggest which looks great and this is a thumbnail that i'm actually going to move forward with by the way, I don't want you to think that you can only create things inside of these different templates right here. Because if you click on replicate template, what you could do is actually upload another YouTube video and then you can put yourself in any different scenario. For example, these ones right here were all made with the template. But if we scroll down, these are going to be completely different. This one's completely different. And this one, I actually put a hat on myself. I put a hat on myself here, put a hat on myself here. We could see all of these different scenarios that I have myself show up in. And it doesn't just have to be things that look like my normal thumbnails. And this one right here, it put me on Mount Everest. This one down here, it put me in a jungle setting. The opportunities here are endless. For example, let's say that we come over to one of Mr. Beast's latest videos. I'm gonna click on copy link address right here. We're gonna come over here, replicate template. We are then going to put this in here and then we are going to use that as a template. We're gonna use it with my avatar. Then we could see that this now adds in an extra step. In the past, it just analyzed the video and then created three thumbnail variants, but now it's analyzing that template image from the thumbnail that we gave it from Mr. Beast. It's then analyzing the video content and then it's gonna create three variant copies. And here we go. Now we have something that looks completely different. Now, this middle one right here is definitely my favorite. Can I beat the fastest robot? Go with me and the robot here. And this looks incredible. Before I actually go through and show you three other use cases that you could actually use this for, I wanted to remind you how important your click through rate actually is. So if we come over to my latest YouTube video right here, this video is doing pretty well. It's at around 11,000 views. We could see that this is really starting to pick up now now here, it's still getting around 600 views an hour. And I think this video is probably gonna end up with anywhere from like 20 to 30,000 views. And one of the reasons for that is if we come in a reach, we click on impression click-through rate, we could see that in the first hour, the click-through rate on this video was over 13%. Now, if we compare that to a video that didn't do as well, let's say if we scroll down a little bit, this video right here only got 3,000 views in about a week. If we click on this, come over into reach, click on impression click-through rate, we could see that the click-through rate here was only 7% or around 7%. It was actually a little bit lower than that. So this really emphasizes that just a three to 4% difference in the click-through rate makes a massive difference in whether or not the YouTube algorithm actually pushes your content, which is why you need to be using an AI tool to make you better thumbnails. Because guess what? I could go through now for all of my old content that didn't do that well and change the thumbnail, change the title, and it will increase the odds that the YouTube algorithm sucks in that old content. So you could use this both for your older content and for your newer content to help increase your views on YouTube. Thumbnails don't only matter for your long form content because if we come over to search results on YouTube, we will see that shorts show a lot more. In fact, if we do a search for this, we see this video right here got 1.2 million views because it had a really good thumbnail. This is actually my video right here. And if we come over to the YouTube homepage, what you're going to notice is that shorts now show up a ton. And it looks like this, where there's just a really big bar of shorts here and a bunch of different shorts. And what you were going to notice is that all these shorts that are showing up all have a custom thumbnail on here. And that's one of the reasons that they're actually getting reach. Now, before I walk you through three different use cases that you could use this new AI tool for, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pinned comment below and get started with Thumb Magic today because they allow you to make your first three thumbnails for free and you're gonna wanna make sure you test this out to see how much better it makes thumbnails for you and 
how fast it is. Now, the first way that you could use this tool is to create your own thumbnails. If you are uploading content on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, you need to make sure that you have good thumbnails because I literally just showed you before how big of a difference a good thumbnail makes versus a bad thumbnail and how many views you end up getting. And you could use this right here in order to generate tons of different thumbnails. And you could do it not only for your new content on YouTube, but also like I was showing you for your older content. And you could do the same thing for Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts with the nine by 16 that you could use. In addition to that though, the second way that you could use this is you could come over here and find creators that changed their thumbnail style and started to see an increase in views. And then you could actually reach out to them and try to get them to do things better. For example, if we come over to Dr. Jones right here, we come over to his videos. What you were going to notice is that if we scroll down, he changed his thumbnail style and then saw a massive increase in views. With this bad thumbnail style, 300 views, 600 views, 500 views. But if we scroll up, he changed it and look at it now. 200,000 views, 198,000 views, 80,000 views, 45,000 views, 250,000 views, 100,000 views, all from him changing his thumbnail style. And guess what you could do? You could approach creators like this that have changed their thumbnail style or that need to change their thumbnail style. And you could tell them that you can actually do it. One of the best parts about Thumbna Magic is you could go through, you could create the thumbnails in advance and then send it to them and say, hey, why don't you try changing your thumbnail on this video? Video right here and send them the link to the video to this new thumbnail that I created and I bet it's going to help increase your reach and if they're impressed with your work guess what they're going to do they're going to hire you now the third way that you could do this is not only getting one-off clients but by starting a thumbnail agency because in the past it was really hard it was really time consuming in order to make thumbnails on YouTube but now using a tool like thumb magic allows you to make thumbnails incredibly quickly and for way less money and way less effort. In the past, it took around an hour in order to go through and create thumbnails like this. In fact, if you were gonna do one, two, three, four, five different variations of a thumbnail, this probably would have taken like two or three hours for you to do this with Canva or for you to do this with Photoshop, but Thumb Magic literally allows you to do this in seconds so you get way more scale, you can create thumbnails for way more creators, and this will allow you to not only make money with AI, but to help increase people's views, and you're really providing them an incredibly valuable service because not everybody knows that you can actually generate thumbnails with AI, and you could use this to your advantage to make more content or to help other people make more content or just to make better content, and then as a result, you get leverage from AI. Now, if you wanna learn more about setting up AI automations in order to automate your work, I would strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through three different ways that you could set up AI automations now with Google. I'll see you over there.